everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle. Today I went a little bit overboard with the lip line. So uh, if it looks like I got filler, I, I didn't, I swear. It's just me being a bit overzealous with the liquid lip. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of trying makeup products, we're actually going to be trying makeup removers. I've been curious about the face halo for so freaking long and I bought it the other day. It was in a haul, I believe, that I did. If you don't know what the face halo is, it's basically like a microfiber cloth that's suitable for your skin. It's very soft and you only need to use water with it. That's one of my favorite things because then you don't overload your skin with product and also you're removing everything without adding anything extra to your skin. Personally, I find a lot of facial washes can be kind of stripping on the skin so this is a super gentle way to take off your makeup but it's so efficient. I've been trying it and testing it and I really like it. It makes removing makeup so easy, so simple and it just gets every little bit of makeup off. I do use this as like a two part cleanse kind of thing so I'll use this and then I'll go in with a micellar water and then I'll go in with like a moisturizer, things like that etc, my normal skincare. But this thing is £8. Now that's not too expensive but it also is. <laughs> Considering it pretty much just feels like a soft microfiber kind of sponge which you can reuse and wash in the washing machine. Now believe it or not this one is clean. <laughs> This has been in the washing machine, but I don't use like bleach or anything like that So it's just looking a little bit worse for wear and it's not in its bright white state that it is when you first buy it But I've reused and reused and reused this and I do really really like it I was looking at buying the three pack of these and it was 18 pounds for three of these and obviously because Google is a creep <laughs> as soon as I was searching for these online I started getting ads for different retailers who were selling similar things and lo and behold wish popped up <laughs> and I was super duper curious. I bought this for a pound, I'm pretty sure. And I wanted to see if they were comparable, if this is just a cheap thing that you can get cheaper elsewhere. And it's just got a name slapped on it with a YouTuber behind it, because this is made by Chloe Morello. But yeah, I'm super duper curious, so let's go on into this thing. It took a few weeks to get here, I'm not gonna lie. It took like three to four weeks, just for a tiny little envelope like this, but that's wish for you. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks a lot bigger. So that is the face halo compared to the one from Wish. I love how the little tag just says clean sponge. <laughs> this feels completely different. This just literally feels like a sponge with like a cloth over top. On the face halo it's like almost like a carpet feel. Like if you were to have a long carpet it's got quite a bit of give to the fibers so they move around and that's what makes it soft on the skin but also it like grips onto the makeup and just pulls it off. This one just feels like fur. <laughs> They are uh, really tricky with the photos on Wish, I'm just gonna say that right now. Because <laughs> I thought I was gonna be getting something similar to the face halo, and obviously if you look at them side by side, they look very different. <laughs> so, I don't have high hopes, <laughs> but we will compare the two. First off, I'm gonna do what I would usually do, and that's dampen the cloth. I'm gonna do exactly the same for both, and then we'll see which one takes off the makeup better, or if they're comparable. By the way, you guys, it is the end of the day, and we're about to hop into the bath, so that's why my face is looking like this. And also why my hair is looking like this, because it's hair washing day, so uh, I can't deal with it right now. It needs to be out of my face. <laughs> okay, so first off, I'm gonna go in with the face halo, so we have a nice comparison, and you guys can see what this thing does. So first of all, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see all the makeup that's on my face and then we'll get to removing. All right, so this is the makeup that I have on. Whoa, my screen just glitched and I was like, <laughs> looked real weird. So this is the makeup that I have been wearing all day since 10 o'clock in the morning and now it's 10 o'clock at night. So it's been a while. I'm gonna take off this side with the face halo. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All you need with this is like light pressure. You don't even need to like press on the skin that hard. It just takes everything off. Like I'm barely pressing and look how much came off. I'm gonna try and do like a straight line down the middle so we have a comparison. Cannot guarantee. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good look. <laughs> I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors. So don't be afraid to let them show your true colors. Beautiful like a rainbow. For my eye, I just kind of lightly press over it a little bit and then I sweep it off. I have got like three coats of mascara on today because <laughs> I'm running out of mascaras at the moment so I'm trying to like get the last out of all the ones that I own and so I have like three different mascaras on today. But it still managed to take a lot off. 
you know. I am going over a few times, but again, so gentle and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. There we go, guys. Quick, easy, simple. I've got all my makeup off pretty much. I will go over it, as I said, with like a micellar water. I'll do that right now to show you how much makeup comes off my face once I've used the face halo. A clean cotton pad by here with some micellar water and I'm just going to go over my skin. There you go. So you can see that takes a lot off and leaves very little residue. There's a little bit on there, but not a lot compared to what's on my face. It got off a hell of a lot. <laughs> and I mean, including mascara and everything as well, like, you can't fault it, you know? Okay, so now <laughs> let's try the wish sponge. Kinda nervous, I'm not gonna lie, and it is massive <laughs> compared to my face. Okay, let's go. It is taking off my makeup. But you know, I guess any sponge would. <laughs> is it gonna struggle with the liquid lip? Because it's quite a heavy duty one. No, that took it off pretty easily. <laughs> and again, these are just dampened with water, so I haven't got any product on here at all. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't that just make you feel gross? <laughs> I don't think I like the fact that it's bigger. It does feel very soft though, so it's not like irritating my skin or anything. Try and get all the mascara off now, because the mascara is gonna be the true test. <laughs> To really get into my lashes, what I tend to do, I blink onto the pad, if that makes sense. So I close my eye and then I open it slightly and then push my lashes up against it. It really gets into the lashes. Just having a little bit of trouble with my eyeshadow. I'm still trying to use the same amount of pressure that I did with the face halo. I want this to be a fair test. Okay, my mascara's kind of gone all down my face. I feel like this does have like a little bit more resistance than the face halo does. It's not tucking hard, but it's not as soft. It doesn't glide over as nicely as the face halo does on the skin. But hey, it did get the job done. <laughs> now let's get another clean cotton pad with a little bit of micellar water. And let's see how much residue comes off on here. Okay, so on the wish side, there's still a little bit of foundation left over and still a little bit of mascara, but still, it's not that bad. Comparing the two residues, I would say it didn't do half bad, in all honesty. Like, I'm quite shocked. <laughs> All right, with that said, let's zoom you guys out and discuss my final thoughts. You know, it feels weird starting a video with makeup and ending without. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around, but anyway. So you guys, let's discuss final thoughts. Now, I love the face halo. I'm gonna keep on using the face halo just because I pretty much know where it's coming from and I know that I can reuse and reuse and reuse this and I have been already, so I really love this product. It has truly changed my life. <laughs> It's made me slightly lazier because I don't always have to go to the sink and I can just use this to take off my makeup but it's also a game changer and I really like how gentle it is on my skin but I feel like I fully taken off my makeup when I use this. The Wish one, again, it wasn't bad. I do feel like it was slightly rougher on my skin and I did have a little bit of a harder time taking off my mascara and left a little bit of residue. So I wouldn't say it's comparable at all. I would still recommend you to get the real thing. Yeah, Wish sometimes has dupes for things, but this one really isn't one. Personally, I think this would be good for like removing body makeup because it's so big and you could just like rub it on the skin and it would work well for that. So I'll probably keep it and use it for that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is not a dupe for face halo. Not as good, not as good. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's probably gonna be a short and sweet one. Sometimes it's nice to do something different and I'm excited to jump in the bath and then put on my moisturizer. All my little lotions and potions. <laughs> By the way, if you notice my uploads are a bit scattered recently, it's just because I'm still trying to work out what's the best day for me to upload for you guys. I'm still doing two videos a week, but I'm just kind of deciding when to upload and when's best for me because I do work full time. I usually do Wednesdays and Saturdays, but I am feeling more Thursdays and Sundays would work better for me. Let me know if you have any preference down in the comments below because obviously everything I make is pretty much for you guys. So yeah, if you have any input in any kind of days that you would prefer, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this different kind of video, then please leave a thumbs up so I know and I'll do a few more like this. And if you are new, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified of when I upload. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys. I was curious. I've been curious about the face. How? Oh my god. Words. Personally, I find a lot of the shoulders are out. Ooh, collarbone. Yes, weight loss. She's skinny. Lol joke.